Hi, Mick Garvey from the Editech channel on Airgun World. Uh, just a promised follow up video with the uh, Hawk Air Max Touch. Obviously, it's the 3 to 12 by 32 side focus Air Max Ret. Uh, just over 10 inch long, just over 10, 10 ounce in weight. Short eye relief, eye cup, side wheel. I think we went through all that previously before, so I will not go over that just now. But uh, when we start putting it together, we'll show you what we've got. Pellet pouch, I ordered a few of these off eBay, uh, they're quite handy, I'll be using 16 grain air arms die blows, just fit inside, they don't rattle out, they keep it nice and quiet in your pocket so it's not like rattling the tin, uh, side pouches here for the for the fill probe uh, and for the mags, all in there, all kept nice and tidy, nice and nice and tidy for, for the job. A uh, couple of different sets of mounts, uh, both Deben. We've got some reach forward, reach back mounts, and some just standard high mounts, I believe these are, which I think we're going to be, we're going to be needing. Uh, dovetail, so a bit of an insight there into what uh, gunning might be going on. Bipod, Deben bipod, 6 to 9 fixed, just a short little one, tactical look, keep it nice, short weight, uh, short in size, short, low in weight, should keep everything uh, looking all tactical. Uh, Weaver top mounts for the top of the scope mounts, uh, so we can add on an IR torch, uh, a, a, a red torch, or perhaps if we've got uh, doing a bit of screen add on with a screen, uh, an old one I might be using at some stage, so I might try that on that. The gun is here, finally arrived this week, uh, not the usual gun I use, uh, but because of won't go through that now, we'll go through that shortly in a minute when we open it up. But inside, black tactile case. I'm now going to uh, strip everything out, get everything out in the box, slowly go through every bit individually, finish that uh, bit of a video, put it together, and then we'll show you what uh, what it looks like all built up. Uh, so basically, give me two minutes and uh, I'll be back with you. Thanks a lot. Hi, welcome back to Mick Garber, the Airgun Air Attack channel uh, and Airgun World. Uh, right, as you can see, the box is now open. Uh, the scope is ready to go, the bipod's ready to go, pellets, pouch, mounts. The gun, as you can see, is the Air Arms S510 TDR. Uh, now, Deben have become the distributor for Air Arms rifles. So it was only fair that we fitted their new scope on one of their guns. Uh, I discussed it with Jamie, we discussed it with Claire at Air Arms and we decided, uh, well they asked me which one I'd like to use and I said I'd, to be honest my favourite gun of the, all the Air Arms is the TDR especially the new S10, uh, S10 TDR side lever cocking, I think it's what it always should have been uh, I, I've, I've had a few, my girlfriend Babs has actually got a TDR in 177 sub 12 uh, and it's, it's a lovely gun, it's a lovely gun uh, so what we've got at the moment then is it's the FAC, the XS, it's uh, running around about 25 foot pounds. Uh, I will admit I've had it down to the uh, local gun shop, South Yorkshire Air Guns, uh, also known as SDS. Dive bottle place, great place, really friendly team. Uh, you've got plenty of things in, plenty of guns in. The place to go for your, for your dive bottles and to get them refilled. Uh, that's where I go and it's just around the corner from me. Uh, it's supplied with two mags and the setup is incredibly quick, they reckon it's about 20 seconds and I'm thinking, yeah I'll probably agree with that, maybe quicker, uh, I don't forget I'm, uh, I'm mic'd up for the camera here, so and that's that's set up, that's done, obviously the gun doesn't work without the, uh, with the rear, rear part on, uh, nice little lovely and light 2.8 kilogram apparently like i say two mags two stage adjustable trigger it's got the latest series 7 uh, valve and reg 
beautiful smooth cocking action. It's a Lothar Walther barrel, uh, like I say, it's two two, it's fully shrouded, integrated mod, fully adjusted butt pad. Uh, in the tactical, which I think looks really well with the scope, that'll look absolutely superb. One thing I forgot, there's an slung rail on the bottom for taking your accessories, your bipod and your, your slings. Uh, I forgot to order the, the, the rail, the, the, the adapter. But as you can see, that's what it'll look like when it's on. I think that looks tremendous. That looks fantastic, it really does. So anyway, that, that'll be on as soon as the, as soon as the uh, adapter arrives. Uh, like I said, S510 tool mags. We're using the, the, the 16 grain Diablo pellets with this. We've got to decide whether we're going to use the reach bike. Just depends where my head falls for the scope, whether we use the reach bike or the standard standard mounts. Uh, let's see what else I need to tell you. I think basically that, that's about it. Obviously it comes with a hard case. Uh, this all comes out so you can have you can leave it all set up with the scope on. Uh, I think they retail around about 1120. Uh, there may be so much off that, I'm not sure what uh, what the deal is. Usual standard fill up for the uh, for the air arms. Fill adapter fits on the front, clicks on, clicks off, slides around and then comes back up. There's a, a, a nice, lovely engineered uh, cover for the end, which is quite nice. Really quick setup. It really, it really goes together really quick. Power adjuster on the side. Uh, now I've had, I've had this down to this desk, like I said, for some... Uh, some testing and we've tested at low power we went from 12.86 to 13.42 uh, foot pounds on low and that was uh, a FPS of 601 to 614 we were slowing around to air at that time don't forget this is regulated this gun as well so you're not going to get a sudden drop off uh, obviously again we're using the 16 grain Diablos uh, Excuse me, we reckon we're getting about 20 shots at 25 foot pound. And when we turned into high power, we were getting 29.1 to 29.91 foot pound, which is quite a lot. So I'm thinking if we turned it down somewhat to around about halfway, we'd run up get it 20, you know, down to 25 foot pound. Uh, we might get a few more shots out of it. Uh, the speed was 905 to 917, which is, from my early days was around about the holy grail of speeds for air guns. Uh, so as they say, speed is your friend. So, three year warranty from Air Arms, another good thing. Coupled together with a lifetime warranty of the scope, you're set, you don't need to do anything for, for at least three years. You're sorted. Uh, great customer service from Air Arms. The, the, I, I cannot praise the guys enough. I mean, I, I talk to them every time we go to the shows. I also have a chat with Claire and the rest of the team, Sheila, Chris, everybody else. Really friendly team uh, and a really good British company, which is what we need, which is really good. Uh, back to the case, I've just noticed obviously you can take the little sponge out here and the pellets fit in there. Uh, if you want to take this uh, hard case with you in the, in the vehicle and then take it out, strip it down, fit it back together, that's the way to do that. Uh, myself, I might leave it set up most of the time in a gun bag. And in the cabinet when not, because it needs to be in a cabinet. Uh, and but basically that's about it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to stop this video off. We're going to build everything up. Obviously without the bipod on, because that is my fault. Uh, so we'll, we'll get that sorted and then we'll do some more videos. But what I'm going to do, I'll get it set up. And I'll have it on the tripod, uh, on the recon tripod, so you can have a little bit look around it. Uh, and eventually we will try this scope on, on the impact as well. Uh, which is obviously where, where, where my tie-in is with FX. But anyway, uh, that's it for the time being. I'll be back shortly once I've got this built up. And uh, we'll see you then and uh, give you a full look as that it looks. And it's tactical guys. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Thanks a lot, bye. Hi, and we're back again. That's all sorted, all set up. As you can see, scopes mounted, dovetail uh, mounts on. I've got a little uh, Picatinny rail on the top to take a torch or even an add-on sort of screen for a rear add-on. Uh, as you can see by that, that looks pretty impressive. I like the look of that, very tactical. Like I said before, the TDR is actually my favourite air arms gun. Uh, so I'm happy with that. As you can see, it is mounted, it may look to you as if it's mounted far bike, but with the 
short eye relief and the way I actually hang on the back of the gun I actually hang off the back of the stock rather than lean in so that for me is perfect and I've got a full screen of scope there uh, I don't know what else to say about it really it's all looking pretty good this the mod does come off and it does come with a protector so if you want to take it you know take the mod off for transit to make it fit in your bike you've got a thread protector keep things all nice and tidy pellets all in a little leather bag two magazines and here we have the fill adapter as we said before screws on the front same adapter i'll get a foster attachment for that and that is about it i found actually i'm not going to use the rubber eye cup i'm finding when i'm into it i'm having to push too far into it and it just feels uncomfortable i'm just off the scope when i'm on it and to be honest i can probably just feel the scope on my eyebrows probably uh, but anyway that's 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 basically it power adjuster as you can see here and we'll play with that and see exactly what power we're going to get and what power is going to give us the best shot to 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 air usage ratio on the other side of the power adjuster we have what looks like a little screw head with a slot in it which lines up for the actual position of the power plus to minus just a little cross on to shape thing again but that's basically it uh, I'm happy with that butt adjustment I've adjusted that pad down so it drops in my shoulder a little bit so I'm on the scope a little bit better very happy with this barrel band I forgot to mention that earlier uh, so it's not quite a fully floating barrel it's got a bit of support on that which I like that idea uh, and that is basically it so any thumbs up thumbs down would be greatly appreciated if you've got any comments I will get back to you as soon as I can I'll answer all the comments on all my, all my pages uh, and if you feel it's good enough and you're happy with it, why not subscribe to the channel? I'd appreciate that too. That's basically it. There's one or two more things planned, uh, but they're all in separate videos. Uh, and we've got quite a few interesting things coming up. But anyway, that's about it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.